How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of Matthew's Mission. On the last episode, the top rated comment for who should buy was from Hyper Insanity saying buy Helm, Haglin, and Cogliano for a very fast line with speed straights to destroy people with the speed. Like so he buys them with a smiley face. 159 thumbs up. So that was a top rated comment by far. Obviously though, we're only buying one player per episode, so we'll probably just buy the cheapest of those three players. Before we do that though, I'm actually going to do the gold collectible set. Somebody suggested I should do it before and totally forgot about it. I think it makes a lot of sense though as we can't um, sell our gold collectible as it's untradeable. Probably never going to have enough to actually do a set. So might as well try and see or just try and get the most amount of coins for it. Would definitely help us out here off the start. So we'll trade that in right now. Um, 7,500 coins max. Obviously that would be pretty awesome. That's probably more than they're going for right now. But I think even if we just get 3 or 4k, uh, that'd be enough coins to just help us out. Help us definitely buy one of those players. Maybe even just get some contracts, stuff like that. Uh, just make the uh, start of this road to glory a bit easier. So we'll go to the unopened packs right now, see how much we get for that, and then we'll go see who's the cheapest right now between Cogliano, Helm, and Haglin. So right now we get 4k coins for the gold collectibles, which isn't too bad. Um, usually gold collectibles sell for like a minimum of 5k, but since we can't sell it, um, 4k I will definitely take. So we're actually past the 5k mark. Uh, should be able to afford any one of the three. All right, guys, so right now I'm on the auction house searching for expansion players with the breakaway boss synergy, as all three of those guys have it. Um, buying our range there is 2k max. Like I was saying, I want to buy the cheapest of the three. Um, we definitely need to save coins going forward to try and get some better players in the later episodes. So right now I can see Cogliano there, 1950. Been on the market there probably for like seven minutes. So that's pretty good. And there's no Helm or Haglin up for less than 2k. So we're going to go with Cogliano right now. If you guys are wondering why I'm buying the expansion one, opposed to the regular gold one. This one obviously is 86 overall, so he's plus one on everything. Um, the breakaway boss synergy is actually very similar to the speedster synergy, except it trades um, plus one or plus two acceleration for plus two to deking and stick checking, which I think is a pretty good trade, and especially since we're getting the expansion, we're still getting plus one to um, acceleration, so definitely makes sense to buy the expansion card. And getting in here to the Division 10 title game, let's see what we gotta go up against. Uh, solo Golden Nugget. Let's try to get the win. All right, here we go, guys. Start of the game. He's got uh, Tyler Sagan as his first line center. There's no way this guy's in Division 10. Like Tyler Sagan, first line center. Um, I don't know if I showed it or not before I cut, but uh, Bufflin was actually his best player. So I don't know. There's. I feel like there's no way this guy's Division 10. EA is definitely giving me some uh, tougher matchups. Girardi there, a little back pass to Borgstrand. Ooh, that was a big save from his goalie. All right, probably a uh, nice little back check. Nice little move. Can we go end to end with him? There we go, there we go, keep going, keep going, oh, let's just, there we go, Borgstrand, finish it off, oh, that's in, there we go, um, are they gonna give that to, who are they giving that to, uh, Borgstrand, I think, so, um, Caldwell didn't get a goal in his first game, at least not yet, uh, but he does have an assist after an unreal, like, um, play there, he deked out a few guys, and then, I think, I see, I thought Soderbergh tipped that in, but I guess the puck just must have trickled in, so, one nothing. let's keep the lead. Nice hit there from Martinez. Oh, he gets it back. Ooh, big uh, interception from Hala. Matthias, nice little move. Goes to Lekkinen, just clap that. Ooh, big save from Smith. Arvidsson, step up. Okay, Domi, loose puck. We just gotta get rid of that. Borkstrand, nice safe plays here. Up to Domi. Beat Ekman Larson. Wow, I don't know how he didn't get taken out. Matthews in on goal. Oh, I don't know how he misses that. Nice poke from Cogland. We'll see what he can do. Cuts in. Come on, holds it there. Campbell, just playing with it. Uh, Cogliano, wind up, oh, that's a bad shot. Big hit from Gregorenko, gonna get it right back to him. Nice little move on Suter. Fake on Ghost, back to Gregorenko. Oh, loose puck. No one there to put it away. There you go, nice little hit from Campbell. Uh, Borgstrand's got it to Matthews. Let's see what we can do, is that Domi? Oh, wow, what a save. His goalie just, I don't think I've ever seen a goalie do splits that much in this game. That was crazy. Oh no, I missed the hit. Good goal by him. Oh, I went for the hit there, I should just went for the stick check. Made it right by me and scored. I think that was Tyler Sag, and that's crazy though. One, one game, we've been all over this guy. Uh, so many more chances. Time attacks probably heavily in our favor. So hopefully, law of averages works out. We eventually get one here. I uh, got 10 more minutes to do it in regulation. Hallow the Lekkonen and Dan. I think um, Matthias is coming up. Oh, let's just deke. Let's just deke. There we go. I was going to go for the pass the entire time. Once I got by, I think, Krug there. Figured I might as well just take it all the way. 
What a goal. 2-1. Eight minutes to go. Matthews out front. That's gotta be... Oh, I missed it. Try it again. Oh, man. Borgstrand stick broke. Goes for the skate pass. Almost gets it to Domi. That'd been sick. Um, I can't believe we didn't get one there. No way. Oh, no. Big save from Anderson. That was close. No, no, no. Gonna go for the... Oh, wow. I knew he was going for the one-timer. He still got it to go. Luckily, big save again from Anderson. Come on. Here we go. Uh, what just happened there? 10 seconds to go. Should be able to just cycle this thing. Maybe even get one more goal. A uh, big tip from Soderberg. I thought he was going to get one there. Throw it out front. Oh, board strand. That'll be nice there. Uh, so still 2-1 win. Division 10 title champions. I don't mind that at all. Uh, we'll see how many coins we get here for the title win. I forgot we actually get uh, bonus coins for the title win. That'll definitely help us out too. Uh, we get an achievement there. So we get an extra 750. 1600 coins isn't too bad. 4-0 here to start off Road Glory also is pretty solid. Game stats there. Ton of attack actually is a bit closer than I thought. 2-1 um, shots on our side. Three stars, Lekkanen, Sagan, and Borkstrand. And I'm pretty sure we should actually have a division title pack to open up. Uh, we do. And what's crazy is I actually haven't opened one of these up yet. Um, when they came out, I was already in Division 2. And I got promoted to Division 1 without winning the title. And since then, I've just been stuck in Division 1 without winning the Division 1 title. I've never opened one of these, so I'm kind of looking forward to finally opening one of these up. Uh, I think everything's untradeable, but you can get, like, I don't know. I don't, I don't actually know what we get here for Div 10. Corey Perry! Corey Perry in a Div 10 pack. What a boost to our team. That's amazing. I know he's not the fastest. He's actually very slow. 83 speed. So he's not going to be out there on the PK, the 4-man, or anything like that. But on the power play and, like, regular 5-on-5, five five, what a shot on him. And just what a boost to our team. That's awesome. Before I open up the packs, guys, I had a list of bronze contract to send the coins to my main account. Um, two packs cost 30k, so with tax, I think it's 31.5k. Hopefully my math checks out. Also just added a healing card, as we have to add some cards. So I felt like a healing card probably is the most uh, worthless card I could have sent. Um, if we ever do need it, uh, we will have it in the collection. So we're going to go buy one gold plus pack, as well as one expansion plus pack. Uh, we had really good luck with the division title packing, the Corey Perry. Um, like I said, it was my first ever Division title pack, so um, hopefully we can get another really good pull, like for Division 9, all the way to Division 1. But right now, guys, we'll start off, I guess, with the Gold Plus pack, and then we'll do the uh, Expansion Plus pack. So hopefully here, we get a couple of good rare players. Also, we're going to get some contracts to help us out. Um, logos and jerseys, maybe eventually we can, like, save up enough of those to trade them in for some gold collectibles. Either sell them, do whatever. Marion Gabrick, uh, a lot of people said I should buy him, so he's definitely going to be on the team really fast. A uh, good cheap card. Matt Pumple is actually a local boy uh, from Windsor. We'll see where other rare player is. Somebody good, hopefully. Um, Jacob Truba. Not bad, honestly. Our defense could use some work. We've only bought forwards and a goalie so far. I think he'll definitely be on the team as well. So uh, both rare players, I think, are going to be uh, big additions to the team. Also, guys, in regards to the pack, I'm just going to keep everything for right now. Like I was saying, jerseys, coaches, uh, logos can all probably be used for collectibles. The non-rare golds um, that we don't use... I'm not sure if I should probably just sell them. Um, probably the best like use of them. If we're never going to use them, try and get some coins back. And then the rare golds, obviously, we're using for right now. And once we're done with them, probably list them up too. Uh, so we'll see what we get here in the second pack. Expansion plus pack. So uh, most of these cards should be a bit better. Tootin there. I don't know if he'll even make the team, honestly. He's really slow. Emelin, maybe. Uh, 91 checking on him. Um, Bieto there, definitely not. Zabinijad, I think he's on the team for sure. 87 overall, solid player. Vay's only 81. Gerby, 83 overall, but he's really short, really fast. Who was our other rare player? Oh, uh, Emelin was an 85. So, I don't know about Emelin, but for sure it's been a Jad. So, we'll see what the team looks like now with these new additions. So, I just finished up editing the Lions, trying to make the best team possible. Last thing we're going to do here is actually sub out Girardi for one more defenseman. Unfortunately, it's going to be a left-handed defenseman, so we don't have that uh, right shot on the left side for the third pair. But, I think it's worth it as we're adding Dumoulin. And as you guys can see, he actually gives us the team shot blocking synergy. So um, that is huge. The fact you already have a, a team synergy. Um, where is it? So I can show you guys. Uh, there it is. Plus four bonus to agility, which is huge. Moving around the ice. Balance, shot blocking, and durability. Uh, pretty big synergy for us. Um, obviously, three of those guys are like main players on our team. And Matthews, Anderson, Darmelson. Dumoulin, Cole, and Darling I all added just for the synergy. But um, Darling's backup goalie doesn't really matter. Cole's actually decent. He's only one overall below Martinez, who is our... Old uh, left-handed D, third pair defenseman. And then Dumoulin, of course, is a bit of a downgrade from Girardi, but I think it's worth it. Also, we now have Truba there as our number one 
uh, defenseman on the top pair. Now you guys can see here, Matthews now has two new wingers with him on the first line, Perry on the left wing, Gabrick on the right wing. So I think this first line is going to be deadly. Uh, Gabrick, super fast, really good shot. Um, Perry, we already know, is very slow, but he has an awesome shot on him with really good hands. So I think this line is going to do some good things. Second line there, Domi, Zabinjad, Greg Ranko. Third is Borgstrand, Soderberg, Coglano. And then fourth there is Lekin and Deharnay and Arvidsson. Deharnay and Lekin still have that... Uh, PH. I honestly forget what that means, but whatever that is, Synergy, which actually gave them a pretty good bonus. It stands for Puck Hog, uh, plus two to hand-eye puck control and poise, like I was saying. Pretty good uh, bonuses. Power play here looks really solid, both lines. Uh, Four-man power play, usually just our fastest players. Same goes for penalty kill, but obviously uh, more defensive than offensive players. They're also fast. Three-man penalty kill there. Uh, shootout, just our best left-handed players. Extra attacker, Matthews, and Perry. Goalies, Anderson, Darlene, and head coach. We actually didn't pull a single head coach, so we still have skewing in even though we don't have anybody with long-range bombers. Um, if we do get a team shop like in head coach, that'd be huge, as we could just replace those three not-so-great players with three better players. So there's a look at the line, guys. Going into Division 9, I think I like our chances of uh, hopefully having another undefeated streak. First game of Division 9 here, we're going up against Lord Assassin 45. As you can see there, 91 offense, 89 defense, 88 goaltending for our team. So pretty good boost. This guy has a 95 Mike Richards. I think he's actually the first person I've played that has a 95 Mike Richards. Um, everyone else had, like, somebody else. Also, Corey Perry is the guy that's showing instead of November Matthews, which is probably better. I feel like people will probably be more scared away from the Matthews, so let's see if we win this game. Oh, Perry's got it back. Come on. Jarmelson. Uh, Schultz. Big shot net. Domi! There we go. Loose puck, or rebound, I should say. Um, already on the board. one nothing. All right, Dumoulin here. I don't know why he's on a breakaway. He's a defenseman, but... Almost beats the goalie, that'd have been awesome. So start the second period now, guys. We're actually starting the period with a power play. Um, end of the first, I think he got an interference call. Something dumb like that. So we're gonna try and uh, make him pay for it. Schultz here, just streaking. Hit Domi, or just shoot yourself. Domi actually almost got the rebound there. Oh, passed it right to Domi. Come on. Oh, let's try Perry. Oh, wow, what a save. Try it again to Matthews. Ooh, another uh, nice poke. Oh, there we go. Keep the puck in. That's all we want to do. Give it to the point. Gabrick. I got Gabrick on the point because I'm pretty sure he's got a really good slap shot. Matthews, Schultz. Try it again. Um, oh, Domi. Oh, oh, man. Just can't get one. Soderberg here. Nice stretch pass to Domi. There we go. S wrist shot, Perry. Oh, if he just kind of like shot that puck instead of trying to control it, that's a goal. Oh no, oh no, come on, Lekin and get back, beat him. That was close, I think Anderson might even got a toe on it there, I'm not sure. Uh, there we go, Arvidsson, 1v1. Oh, that would've been nice. Workstrain here, nice little interception, Cogliano, he's gone. This is a goal, it has to be, oh, big save. Just kind of ran out of space there for the backhand. Hellebeck just been all over us. Lekin in, nice poke. Oh, you gotta be gone, is that Hedman? Clef bomb, nice move. <sighs> that meant a dirty goal. We got Zimijad here, make a nice play, oh there we go, that was nice, between the legs, then pass to Greg Ranko, 2 nothing. Truba here, Borgstrand, Cogliano, come on, beat Hamilton, there, oh, right off the post, I thought I had another, alright here we go, we got Greg Ranko to Zimijad, 2v1, 3v1, oh there we go, that was nasty, um, if we didn't get tipped there, I don't know, I think Hellebeck actually might have saved it. Um, he was going over for the desperation save. He's been that good this game, but luckily we got one to go by him. So 3 nothing now. About half through the third period. We should be okay for the first win in Division 9. Alright, we got Gabrick here. Trying to go end to end. Just for fun. Oh, and Fant on the deep. Put Perry to Domi in the corner to Matthews. There you go. 4 nothing. And he's going to quit with 6.5 left. Why would you not just finish? Get yourself some coins. He doesn't want to. So as you can see there, 29 shots to 9. Uh, 11 minutes of time attacked, 1.5. We were dominating the game. Um, his goalie, though, Connor Hellebeck, just, I don't know. He just kept him in it for a while there. Really didn't start to come away with it till the third. So after that win, guys, we now have 6K. So I think that's the perfect time to end the episode. Uh, we can buy anyone up to 6K, which gives us a lot of options. So again, leave a comment. Let me know who we should buy. Top rated comment will be the player we do buy. Um, also, let me know if you think we should be allowed to sell the players or any of the cards we get from those packs uh, for winning the division. So not the division title packs, as those are untradeable. I'm talking about the ones we're like giving ourselves for either game promoter or getting the title. Should I be able to like sell the players I'm not using? 
um, contracts, whatever it is, or should I just have to keep everything and uh, use it if I do, and if I don't need it, just kind of leave it. Um, also, just a quick update on the stats, Domi there, 6-5, and five. Matthews 4-4, four and four. so Domi's actually the best player right now. Um, we'll take a quick look, Cogliano's got 2 points in 2 games there, uh, Corey Perry had a goal, or assist in his first game, sorry, Truba nothing. Goalies here, Anderson 3-0, no, 0.7 goals against, 94 save percentage, so he's got pretty good stat line there. Uh, like I was saying guys, leave a comment with the player we should buy next, up to 6k as well. Should we be able to sell the stuff from those packs? I'll let you guys decide that too. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up. Thanks for watching guys, have a nice day, goodbye.